If everybody was creating the way they wanted to, if everybody was loving themselves to the highest degree, if everybody was talking to them, their higher selves and to God and to their ancestors and to their guides every single day and making it a point to do the best they can every single day and bring magic to the world every day. Can you imagine if 7 billion people were doing that, what this place would be like? That is why I am on earth. That is why God came to be Roxy. What is up, my fellow dreamers and soul searchers? Welcome to the Roxy Talks Manifestation Podcast, your raw, unfiltered, and unapologetic source for all things manifestation related. I'm Roxy Lee, and for the last decade, I have been researching and developing my signature 360 method, which combines behavioral science, quantum physics, and the law of attraction to help you manifest a life beyond your wildest dreams. Visit RoxyTalks.com for more info. Now, let's get into it. What is up, my fellow dreamers and soul searchers? Welcome to another episode of Roxy Talks, where we discuss manifesting and creating the life of your dreams. We do not play with small potatoes here. We just eat small potatoes. (laughs) As soon as they said we don't play with small potatoes, I started seeing those little like those little baby ones. They're so delicious. I'm like, yeah, I'll just eat those things. But we're not dealing in small potatoes. We're dealing in the biggest fucking potatoes we can find. We're dealing in like buckets of potatoes because we only have one chance at this life in this body. Right now, God is using you as an avatar to play the game of life. And you're taking it so fucking seriously. It's killing you inside. We're crying every day. (laughs) Maybe not every day. Hopefully you're not crying every day. We're crying. We're struggling. We're grinding. We're affirming. We're working. We're doing everything we can. We're trying so hard to make it. And it's all a fucking game. It's all a big elaborate illusion. And the longer you stay stuck believing in the illusion, the longer you suffer, the longer you are so human that it hurts, right? Being human is so hard sometimes, but it's also fucking magical and incredible and just astounding and just so mind blowing. This whole realm being an entire illusion And each one of us is in the drivership of our own holographic illusion. We're all each experiencing a different, a different earth, okay? You are experiencing a different earth than I am. You may not even be hearing the words that I say exactly as I say them in your reality because in your reality, I'm a projection of you. And in my reality, you're a projection of me. So you may be doing things in my reality that you're not exactly doing in your reality. And all of us is experiencing this super hyper realistic, whatever word that means, because real isn't even real. Super (laughs) Super realistic, high level, experiential, experimental illusion game that is so convincing that you'd bet your life it's real, right? Like we are so deep into the illusion of earth that when we hear the truth, like what I talk about on this podcast, the truth of who we are, the power of that we really have, it sounds like the lie. The truth sounds like a bunch of hocus pocus mumbo jumbo. Because we've been so conditioned to believe in the human experience because that's what makes the game of humanity believable, playable, enticing, enjoyable. God wouldn't want to come down here and play this game and completely forget who it really is if remembering who it is made the game less fun to play. Right. So like, I believe that we are a multiple 
level of experiment of humanity where like, I don't know how many, there's been multiple experiments of, of humans and testing out like life lengths and like how much humans know and how, what kind of powers they're privy to and what they're capable of. And I believe right now in this iteration of earth, we have been stripped of all knowledge but not stripped of the ability to gain the knowledge through meditation, through creativity, through inspiration, through prayer, connecting with your higher self, talking to God, whatever it is for you, talking to the universe. When you tap into source, then you are allowed to get the information, which is free flowing at all times. You can literally get the answers to anything you've ever wanted to know and everything you never even knew you wanted to know. Oh, shit. Sorry, I just looked at my time. It's November 1st. And I just realized like, oh my God, I cannot wait to see 11, 11 and 111 today. <laughs> 11, 11, 11, 11. I'm so excited. I'm such a nerd. Oh my gosh, I just got so excited about that. Okay, I can't wait. Just had to nerd out for a bit. Also, by the way, I'm turning 40 in exactly a week. Holy Shnikes, like, whoa, when did this happen? Who let this happen? Who allowed that? Where did this get signed off on? Who allowed this paperwork to go through? I don't know when it happened. There's no way I've been on this planet 40 years. It is insane. Um, just whoever you are, wherever you are, just know that aging is a social construct. You do not have to do anything on this planet except fucking thrive because that's why God came here. Right. Like I was saying, I do believe that part of this game of, of earth and, and human dumb humanity is to not know and then to figure it out. And then once you figure it out, oh, what do you do with it? What do you do now? What do you do now that the entire world is at your fingertips? What do you do now that you have absolutely everything, every opportunity, everything you could possibly ever want to do is possible for you? Now what? There are no limitations because the limitation is an illusion. There's nothing to be afraid of because what you're afraid of is an illusion. There's nothing to be shameful of because what you're ashamed of is an illusion. You are an illusion. You aren't even real. I'm not even real. Sometimes I get so caught up in the game of Roxy that I forget, like, I'm literally God. And, I, and not just, okay, not just that I'm an extension of God, right? Because I've talked about that before. You're an extension of God. You're, you're God, you know, a piece of God projected out into human form. I'm God in an avatar that was designed to forget that it's God so that it could play this game to the fullest, so that it could feel the actual experience of humanity of singularity and if you're wondering why my opinion is and I a lot of this information I get from meditation I'm also reading a book right now called busting loose from the money game which I highly 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 recommend it's really cool because it's a quantum physics book and it's a money book so if you know anything about me you know I love money and you know I love quantum physics I love figuring shit out and the process that you apply to quote unquote bust loose from the money game and start kind of bringing in you know, unlimited abundance into your life is basically 360 method. So I love this book. I'm like, fuck yeah, right on the money. This is exactly what I want. Um, so part of uh, what I'm talking about, about the, the human game, read that book. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But also um, as far as God and God's purpose with being in these suits or being in this game, what I heard in meditation is that God is like, <laughs> this is a funny analogy, but they literally told me the Borg. So if you are a Star Trek fan, if you're a sci-fi person, the Borg, obviously you know what that is, but it is a hive mind. And every member of the hive mind has instant access and instantaneous access to all thoughts. Everything is shared, right? All knowledge is shared with the hive mind and it's all instantaneous. So basically they told me that, that God is basically like the Borg. Um, <laughs> so funny to me. And it's a hive mind. And we experience mentally all things. Well, we'll call it mentally in our, in our humandom. <laughs> I don't know. 
H-U-M-A-N-D-O-M, like a kingdom, but a humandom. In our humandom, we experience it as thoughts where it's like, <clears throat> if you're familiar with meditation, then you know what it's like to have messages come through and you, you hear it, you know that it's not from you. It sounds like your own thought. It comes through like your own thought, but there's a distinction to it. So when I'm having these conversations in my meditation, I can tell which is me and which is not me, but it's because I do it every single day and I'm in there. It'd be like asking me, like, how do you know which is the difference between you and the person you're talking to? Well, one of them's me and one of them's not me. That's how I know. However, in truth, all of the thoughts are occurring at one time. We're all basically in one, inside of one brain. So when I ask God, how can you, like, j why are you talking to me? Why you can just hear me, like out of all the infinite, however much is out there in all the universes, because universe means one, right? So they were just in one of the verses. Um, how, why me? Why are you talking to me? And, and they're basically like, the way that, just in the way that you think and you hear your own thoughts and you can think a thought and then have the answer come right away and it's just instantaneous and there's no struggle. It's just like thoughts thinking and just how we're effortlessly having this conversation in your mind. It's the same for us. It's the same on our end. It We're just all there at once. So it's not like, you know, I'm singling you out out of quadrillions and be, who meant no, numbers I can't even fathom beings or extensions of God or whatever it's we're in the same mind we are the same mind and I'm just talking to myself God is saying this to me right I'm talking to myself when I talk to you Roxy so we're having we're, we're all in this like Borg hive mind and everything is happening all at once right and I asked them to show me I said let me see through your eyes and I didn't actually like, it wasn't like I got any visuals, but I felt it was very strange. It was almost like my, my processor, my human, my human processor couldn't process it all. But I felt the sensation of like all sounds at once, all feelings at once, all literally everything. And, and we just talked about universe. Like imagine how big our universe is. And then imagine again that that's just one of them. So all of that at one time, it was like, I couldn't even really process it. My brain was just like, Whoa, what the fuck? But I got the message, which is just like, it's just everything. And the reason why we play the human game is because humanity, and I talked about this before on the podcast, humanity is singularity. Humanity is one thing at a time. Humanity is one thought at a time, right? You can really only think one thought at a time. You can only speak one sentence at a time. You can only focus in one place at a time. Like Esther Hicks says, you have your point of attraction. It's one, it's singularity. That's why God comes down into human form because this is where God can experience just joy or just a scraped knee or just finding a penny on the ground. One sunset. Looking your dog in the eyes and petting them while they sit on your lap. Those moments where it's just the beauty of humanity. We don't need anything else. There's no expectation. It is just for the sake of being and the sake of experiencing and to feel and to know what it's like to shut all that noise off. Remember before I've said that human bodies are like a noise, are like noise canceling headphones. Now that makes even more sense to me as I'm, I'm deepening this conversation. Putting on a human suit is like putting on noise canceling headphones and it just, it just closes all of these, these doors that are open at all times. And it allows you to just be in one room, one room, one conversation, one moment, one point of focus, just for the sake of experiencing what that is like on its own. So that's why you're here. You're not here to make money. You're not here to fill in the blank. You're not even here to change the world. It's funny because like, that's my mission. I'm so convinced that's my mission, but also like I'm programmed to have that mission. If this avatar, if Roxy is an avatar and God is just playing the Roxy game right now, then everything I've ever experienced, all the drives, all the passions, all the talents that I have, the tools that I've been given, it's all 
it's just like when you pick your your avatar and like um what is that game my husband plays the, with the car the auto what's the one where they they jack cars from people <laughs> I'm drawing a blank. I, it's Grand Theft Auto, that one. And I've seen like, like, you know, sometimes my husband will spend like, he'll spend his whole like game session just fucking with his avatar and like making it perfect, you know, and like giving it clothes and giving it this and giving it a haircut and changing its jaw and like all this stuff. And that's like what Roxy is. And that's what you are. You are an avatar I know you feel like yourself and it maybe it feels like you're co-creating with God, but it's not even that you're literally God wearing the costume. It's like, okay, so last night was Halloween. It's like if you became your costume and you forgot, like if I became Barbie and I forgot that I wasn't Barbie last night and I was just like, holy shit, I'm Barbie. I put the costume on and all of a sudden I'm Barbie and now I'm out in the human world being Barbie and it's just like the movie. And of course it's my Barbie experience. That's what being a human is like. You put on the costume and it's like noise canceling headphones. You forget who the fuck you are. You forget that you're not just an extension of God. You are God. You're God wearing a you costume. I'm God wearing a Roxy costume. And I'm sharing this information because something within me remembers and knows that I am this God. And I want others in my hologram who aren't even real, by the way, <laughs> to know this information. It's such a fucking trip. It's really funny when you start to break it down. What we do in this experience of humanity when like, Literally, there's no rules. You don't have to do anything. You could do, you could do anything. You could do nothing. You could do everything. You could do stuff you love. You could do stuff you hate. You could do stuff that's mediocre for your entire life in this body. And then it's like, who knows if you get another chance to come back. You maybe could come back in this body, but you know what would happen? Your memory would be wiped. Just like it was when you were a baby. So... It's so important that you really take the advantage of who you are now, what you have to say, what you came here to do. Because this experience, this iteration of you came for the pure joy of being you. I want to let that land for a second, okay? I want you to really fucking think about this. Really listen to my words right now. The reason you are on this planet is because you wanted to be you. You wanted to be exactly who you are right now. How does that feel? Do you understand the gravity of that? Can you instantly feel just immense amounts of love for yourself and forgiveness and allowance just to be you because you came here to experience what being you is like. God said, I want to go to earth. I want to be a singer. I want to host what they're going to someday call a podcast. <laughs> When I get there, we're going to call it a radio show. And then eventually it's going to morph into something called a podcast that I'm going to be able to record inside of my house, in my room. I'm going to put it on this thing that I created called the internet where I'm able to reach millions and billions of people around what I call the earth that I made up, this, this holographic world. And I'm going to be able to share this truth that I am God and that I came here to be in that body, to be that girl that's the singer, that Roxy girl who loves pink, who loves Barbie, who's turning 40 in a week and decided when she was young that she was never going to quote unquote grow up. And she never really did. And she loves that about herself. I'm going to go to earth and see what it's like to be somebody that's driven to share the message of the truth of who I am, what a trip that'll be. And that's what you're doing, right? You're doing the same thing. You came here with the limitations that you have, with the struggles in mind, knowing full well what you would have to overcome 
because overcoming that is exactly how you tap into this power. When you overcome the issues you came to earth with, the struggles that you're dealing with, the things that you don't like about yourself, the things you wish you could change, when you overcome either those hurdles or you fall in love with that and realize you don't need to change, that is when you become so much more powerful. That is when you unlock the God power within you. Once you realize that this is an illusion and you actually are God and anything is possible, that's when it becomes possible, right? So this is your permission to be you unapologetically. Scream your message from the mountaintops. We need to hear from you. And if you're somebody with a mission, if you're like me and you're like, I don't care if this thing is fake, while I am here, what I wanna do is help people unlock this understanding within them. That's my thing. That doesn't have to be your thing. But I guarantee there's something in you that you wanna share with the world, that you wanna tell the people around you, that you wanna explain to the people that you love. Whether your dream is is you know on a small scale, it's the people around you, it's the people you love, or it's on a massive scale where it's the entire world or the entire universe, that is irrelevant. What is relevant is that it's in you and you have it trying to come forward. So I want you to let it come forward. I want that I want you to let that be you. Let that be your truth. Let that be your story. Let that be your thing and scream it from the mountaintops, scream it from the rooftops. Let everybody know what your purpose is here because the more you lean into it, the more you are aligned with why you came, which means you're going to unlock more and more of your power. When you line up to the reason you're here, then you are greasing the wheels for yourself. You are allowing yourself the utmost power because you're using the tools that you were given. It's like if I went to a job, to a handy job to fix a sink, I would need a certain collection of tools to do the job. And if I was missing those tools, I would not be able to do the job to my highest ability. However, if I went to that job and I used all of the tools that I had and used them to my best ability, then I would get the job done the best way possible, right? It's the same with planet earth. Like, for example, with me, the tools I've been given, my voice. There's a reason my brand is called Roxy Talks. I sing, I talk, I share. I'm here to spread light. I'm here to share the information. I'm here to explain to you and inspire you in any way that I can, that you can unlock your light, that you should go after this thing that's within you. This is my thing. What's yours? I'm here to use my voice, whether that's in speaking in music, in writing, however I do that, to convince you that it's okay and safe and necessary and like, fuck, we need it so bad, we want it for you to do the thing that you came here to do, for you to do the thing that is your thing, right? My thing is sharing light and helping you unlock yours. What is your thing? Let's unlock it. So I was given the tools to help you unlock it. Again, the gift of voice so that I can share this information and not just voice and speaking, but in voice and music so that I can share it in multiple mediums and in writing so that I can put it into books so that I can put it on social media so I can put it online so that I can share this information as much as possible so I can shout it from the rooftops. And then I was given the desire or I don't know what it is within me to be in the spotlight. Something about me likes being on stages. Something about me is like, yes, I would like to record in my bedroom and have a bunch of people listen to me. <laughs> yes, my ideas are important enough that other people should listen to me and adopt them into their lives. Not everybody has that. So it's a part of my gift, right? And I have a certain look and aesthetic and, and desire for how I want things to appear. I always talk about my, my Venus in Virgo. I love beauty, beauty for the eye, beauty for the ear. I love, I love beautiful. Like I, I just love how things look when they're set up and when they're decorated. And if you can't tell by looking at my sets and my pictures, I just, I just love the aesthetics of things, right? So combining all of that together, makes me 
a really great candidate for building a strong brand that is attractive visually, audily, audi, audi, audioly. <laughs> Here's one of those moments where my brain won't, won't find the word. Um, mentally, spiritually beautiful, right? To bring you in. The energy is good. It's it's genuine. I I have the desire to meditate every day. I love meditating. It's one of my favorite things about being on earth is actually tapping into where I came from, which is so funny. And I just find it so hilarious that we come here to separate ourselves out from that collective, yet we seek it. We still seek it on some subconscious level. We still want to be a part of the Borg. <laughs> <laughs> at least I do. But that's what makes me perfect for this job that I've given myself of. I've got to empower the entire freaking illusion hologram. I got to tell the whole fake hologram that it's fake. <laughs> that's my purpose. And it's funny when you think about it, but like, fine. Okay. I'm going to be given all these tools to do just that and not just the tools, but the desire and the drive, right? We've talked about that. That's that trifecta that lets me know that it is my purpose. How could it not be? How could I not be somebody who is meant to talk about these things when I'm able to talk about it? I want to talk about it. And something inside me is like, I have to talk about this. This is my mission. Like, of course, I'm going to talk about it, right? So this is why we just tap into the joy and the reason why you're here and the love and appreciation for who you are and who you get to be while you're in this avatar. Eternity is really fucking long. Life is short. You're not going to be here forever. One day you're going to wake up and it's going to be seven days away from your 40th birthday or your 90th or who knows, right? So I, my eyes keep going to this quote that I have. I wrote this on a sticky note from meditation. This came from my one of my higher selves, one of my, one of my ideal selves. And it says, let me soak up the best parts of myself and let that be enough. Let me soak up the best parts of myself and let that be enough. Let it just be enough to be who I am and enjoy the fuck out of myself. Enjoy being me and experiencing earth. Enjoy getting to experience earth through Roxy's eyes, through your eyes, through Tam's eyes, through Shannon's eyes, through Jessica's eyes, <laughs> whoever you are out there through your eyes. Soak up who you are and let that be enough and not just enough, but let it be Fuck yes. Let it be a fuck yes. Because you deserve that. You so deserve it. So this is your permission to scream whatever it is that you're here to talk about from the mountaintops. To dive into what brings you joy. What makes you happy. What makes you excited to be you. You so deserve it. You deserve to remember who the fuck you are and why the fuck you're here. You deserve to know why God said... I'm going to be that person. I am God and I want to be you. Do you understand how fucking powerful and incredible you are? God wants to be you. God said, I'm going to create a holographic illusion world that is so vast and detailed. Think about the, the veins in the wings of a fly, the cells in your body, every grain of sand on the earth's beaches, all of that just so God could be you. Bitch, do you feel that? Do you fucking feel that? You better get out there and start fucking sharing your message, doing your goddamn mission. Ooh, sorry, I'm not, I'm not even saying that anymore. Your gosh darn mission, because I'm God and I'm not going to damn myself. And you're God and I'm not going to damn you because you're damn amazing and incredible and powerful. And I just want to see you fucking thrive so bad. I see, oh man, this is why I came to be Roxy. I'm realizing that this is why God came to be Roxy because Roxy wants to see a world where 
everybody feels this way about themselves and is doing the damn thing. Roxy dreams of a world where everybody is living to their highest potential. Can you imagine if everybody was creating the way they wanted to? If everybody was loving themselves to the highest degree? If everybody was talking to them, their higher selves and to God and to their ancestors and to their guides every single day and making it a point to do the best they can every single day and bring magic to the world every day. Can you imagine if 7 billion people were doing that, what this place would be like? That is why I am on earth. That is why God came to be Roxy. So I want you to... DM me on Instagram or leave it in the comments on Spotify. Why did God come to be you? I want to fuck. I'm so excited. Ooh, I just got chills. Oh my God. I'm so excited for this. I'm so fucking excited. Please do not skip on this. Please. I need to hear this. I'm like, I'm so fucking excited. Why did God come to be in your body? Please. Because I promise you there's some good shit in there. Okay. So, oh my gosh. What an episode. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. I need, oh my God. Okay. Hold on. The Holy Spirit just left me. I just want you to, everything you just heard was just channeled. I just felt the power leave. Whew, hold on. I have to decompress a little bit because, wow. When I got on this episode, I had no clue what I was going to talk about. I even asked my husband, I'm like, what do I talk about today? Not that I don't have tons to fucking talk about, right? I could talk about this for years. There's that, like, it's kind of like the singularity, like pinpointing that thing. What is the thing? I'm going to focus on one thing today. And literally, this wasn't even, what I talked about today was not even what I was supposed to talk about. I don't know. I'll, I'll talk about this tomorrow or next week. Next week, I was going to talk about using social media to kind of build your presence. But that is not, <laughs> I intended to channel a message. In the beginning, I was like, let me just channel a message. But I didn't know what it was going to be about. So I decided to try to funnel it, to pinpoint it, and it just came through either way. So, oh my God, that was, I'm sorry. I, that was so fucking powerful. I'm having, sorry, I'm having my human moment right now. Um, God just left the building, but the message, like, holy shit, holy shit. Ah, I'm doing it again. No, no, no. I got to stop using those words. I used GD in, in the HS a lot. And now that I talk to God, I'm like, okay, I'm not going to say that anymore. I apologize. Oh, and then JC, using JC's name in vain. Those are also things I'm not going to do anymore. So um, <laughs> you're probably going to hear me catching myself. But that's okay because we're working on it every day. And we're getting better and better. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I Sorry, this well, this end part, you can, you can tell, right? The difference between... <laughs> The channeled message and then me, Roxy, processing all of what just happened because I can barely even form words right now. Um, whoa. So, uh, yeah, okay. What I wanted to say, I'm going to, um, God, oh my gosh, sorry. I can't even, I can't process right now. That was so, so incredible, so moving. Every, this is why my message needs to go out to everybody. This is why everybody on the planet needs to hear this because everybody on the planet needs to fucking hear this message. Honestly, please share this episode. Please share this episode. I don't really ever ask that. This episode needs to be shared, okay? This back end part, this is me being weird. Oh my gosh, okay. So remember I was talking about, ele it's, it's 11 a.m. right now. So I just see 11, 11, 11. So I'm seeing the 11s. There's two more coming. Oh my gosh, okay. Woo, 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 what a day. Please share this episode because everybody on the planet needs to know this information and it's why I am alive. It's why I am being Roxy right now in this avatar. This is <laughs> the God perspective again. This is why I'm here because everybody needs to know this information. Okay. Now, inside of the BBD club, inside of the Big Beautiful Dreams club for the month of November, our game plan is going to be about content, visibility, showing up on social media and really growing your, your, your stardom, growing the eyes on you so that you can share this message. Okay. So if you're inside of the big, beautiful dreams club, make sure you check out the November game plan because this is where we're going to start really expanding your reach 
and helping you nail down your messaging so that you know exactly how to articulate this message as you scream it from the rooftops, okay? So bigbeautifuldreams.com. That is my $59 a month membership where I help you start your business, launch your business, grow your business, quit your job, get the mindset and the strategy that is going to help you create your revenue streams, get financial freedom, doing what you love and following this passion so you can do the thing that we've been talking about in this episode, which is just live for the sake of being you. And now, you know, as we don't need money because money is an illusion too, and you'll learn that in the Busting Loose of the Money Game book I was talking about. Right now, you may still believe in the illusion of money. I know I'm still working on breaking it, but I'm breaking it, right? I'm breaking my illusion. I'm breaking the belief in it. But if you're still there where you, you still want to make money, then Big Beautiful Dreams Club is for you. And I will be raising the price on it to $88 a month soon. If you're in the club, you're locked in at the rate that you have. So if you joined at 49, you stay there as long as you, you re, as long as you remain a member, you stay at that price. And then if you're at 59, you stay there as well. And once the price goes up, your price will not go up as long as you stay in the club. So bigbeautifuldreams.com, if you are ready to dive in, build your business, grow your business, expand your empire, I'm here to help you. Community, mindset, strategy to get that job done, okay? And if you want my personal help with your situation, roxytalks.com. I have courses, workshops, and coaching where I can personally help guide you on this journey to sharing your message far and wide and doing the purpose, living out the reason that God came to earth to be you. I'm so fucking proud of you. I love you so much. We're all raising our vibrations together. You have the power. I believe in you. Go forth and do you. See you next week.